Hello, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will understand about the vascular endothelial growth factor, VEGF. The vascular endothelial growth factor is very important for the generation of the new blood vessel. Vascular endothelial growth factor is a signaling protein that promotes the growth of new blood vessels. Remember it. It is important for hypoxia clearance whenever the hypoxia will occur in the cell and will lead to a more uh, 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 blood vessel is known as the angiogenesis. Important for blood supply to the tissue due to the angiogenesis. Vascular endothelial growth factor is 5 type. But the uh, fifth type is known as the PIGF. But the vascular endothelial growth factor A, B, C and D. Let's understand about one by one. The A is creation of blood vessel is known as angiogenesis normally. And B is creation of blood vessel in embryo. So the embryonic angiogenesis. While the vascular endothelial growth factor C, this is very important to creation of new lymphatic system, the lymphatic vessel. Vascular endothelial growth factor D, this is, uh, 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 this is a for development to lymphatic vessel as well as bronchioles, air passageway in lungs. The PIGF is very important for the vasculo, uh, vasculogenesis as well as angiogenesis. So the same mechanism. Let's understand about the, uh, uh, the vascular endothelial growth factor uh, for cardiomyocyte in heart. And this is the overview. First, we will understand this is the blood vessel of the person. And this is a person, remember. And this a person contains blood circulatory system. So whenever the stem cell will proliferate into the endothelium, that is due to the vascular endothelial growth factor. Vascular endothelial growth factor receptor is used for the VEGF binding. In this way, the endothelium produces itself the vascular endothelial growth factor or from another cell. And it will be bound with the autocrinally, paracrinally or endocrinally. It can be bound with the stem cell or immune cell for the proliferation like monocyte into the macrophage. Thus, this stem cell will proliferate into the endothelium. Anyhow, this is the cell. This cell is basically contain vascular endothelial growth factor, will bind with the receptor. In this way, the vascular endothelial growth factor 1 and 2 are involving. And in this way, the uh, a cascade of phosphorylation will occur like uh, SRE protein, FAC protein for the vascular permeability, while the RAF and MAC protein is used for the cell motility and the PI3K pathway, the mTORC and AKT activation to cell proliferation. And in this way, will lead to whole mechanism is used for the angiogenesis because the mobility is the movement of the right side. While the cell proliferation, as you know, and vascular permeability means the permeability will increase. The vascular endothelial growth factor in cardiomyocyte in heart is a very amazing thing. Let's understand about this is the, this is the uh, mechanical stress and inflammation will occur and in this way the heart injury. And this is the, this is the basically is the myocyte. And in this way, remember this is the vascular endothelial growth factor. Uh, an immune cell is also involved to produce vascular endothelial growth factor A. And this heart injury as well as the endothelial cell will produce VGF A will bind with the vascular endothelial growth factor 1 and 2 with the receptor. And in this way, the itself produce also the vascular endothelial growth factor. It is triggered by the transforming growth factor beta and endothelin 1 will target to the receptor and in this way, the mechanical stress and inflammation also will lead to increase the angiogenesis as well as the uh, more blood supply to the um, cardiomyocytes. On the other hand, the vascular endothelial growth factor A is target the tumor cell. In this way, whenever the tumor 
tumor or genesis will occur in the uh, in the in the cell the cancer cell will require the angiogenesis for the more oxygen providing because the hypoxia will occur the hypoxia will lead to enhance the tra uh, 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 transcription factor vgf will lead to target to the vgf receptor and will trigger the angiogenesis Whenever the injury will occur in the person here, which that is the vascular endothelial growth factor will also activate. In this way, the vascular endothelial growth factor of the rupturing uh, during the rupturing of the blood vessel will release this vascular endothelial growth factor and inflammation through transforming growth factor beta will trigger and bind with the receptor to angiogenesis formation will occur. Anyhow, this rupture will clear and inflammation will clear. And that is why the vascular endothelial growth factor is important for the blood vessel vascularization, the angiogenesis for normal function. And that is why it is the basically clearance of inflammation due to that things. Let's understand about the YAP and TAS signaling. This YAP and TAS signaling is very important for the angiogenesis. Let's understand. This is the developmental cues and tumor micro environment. Whenever the vascular endothelial growth factor bind with the VGFR2 uh, and other receptor will lead to trigger the CIRC, FAC, RAC, PAC and Marilyn pathway and CIRC, RO and ectomyosin pathway activation. Remember these things. These all pathway like CERC, RO and the ectomyosin activation and FAC, RAC and PAC and Marilyn activation will inhibit the LATS. So what is the function of LATS? LATS is basically the inhibitor of the TAS, TAD and YAP, the TAS and YAP activation. In this way, the whenever the LATS will be inhibited due to the ectomyosin and Marilyn which that will inhibit the TAS, uh, which uh, not uh, activate the LADS for inhibition of the TAS and JAP. In this way, the TAS and JAP independently will activate to produce also the gaps and trigger it, the RAC more, as well as the angiogenesis will progress by the several mechanism for the growth factors increase and the growth and self renewal, renewal of the stem cell. And that is why all thing is this basically is used for the angiogenesis and cell renewal and this is the JAP and TAS signaling pathway. Summarization is that the growth factor, transforming new, uh, tr uh, tumor new necrotic factor alpha, interleukin and uh, other HGH will bind whenever with the receptor will trigger the vascular endothelial growth factor. This will bind with the DNA to activate the gene PIGF gene or VEGF gene will lead to transcription to translation that protein is important for the angiogenesis. In this way, the angiogenesis will be possible, at least. Anyhow, in this video, we have discussed briefly with the exemplification of the vascular endothelial growth factor function and their physiology. And this is important for the angiogenesis, vascularization, the blood vessel genesis. Anyhow, I hope you make sense about that. Please make sure to subscribe, like and share. See you in the next video for this one. Bye.